All right, let's talk about the new Neutrik NL4 connector. Now, Neutrik has changed the NL4 connector and discontinued all the other versions. This is a pretty dramatic change. And not only did they discontinue these versions, but there's some changes to it that are significant. So these are the old versions of the connector. We have the one that's got the housing that comes off the back, kind of the big housing, this bigger strain relief. Then we've got the other one, which is a little bit older and more common, at least in our inventory. And it's got a housing in the back that you unscrew with your hands. There's also a part to put a wrench or a gripper on there. And this one slides out. There's a strain relief. There was two different inserts, one for a thicker cable, one for a thinner cable and then the gut slides out and they mounted with Phillips screws in these little clamps that are somewhat exposed. All right, so there's the old versions that are no longer available or not going to be available from Neutrik. What they've done is they've replaced it with this here. It's an NL4 FXX-W and then there's a dash L and a dash S version. The difference between those two is this end cap here. The end cap on the L version has got a larger opening on it and the one on the S version has got a smaller opening for smaller cable. These are the two different strain reliefs. They appear to be the same. Now these are really nice. They're actually kind of heavier and they feel stronger and more robust than the older version. Probably one of the biggest stumbles or challenges with this new connector is the safety lock. Also, there's a rubber seal now. So we'll go ahead and put this together. There's a green tab that's a little larger, and we'll line that up with the larger hole there. And we'll line these two tabs up, and we'll push this in, and this allows us to rotate and line it up and push that all the way in. And now we've got this kind of concoction here that is our cable grip. We can put this on the back and tighten it up. And it tightens up just as it would before. Let's go ahead and look at that versus the old one. All right, the new one is longer. If you're in a tight space, that may or may not be an issue. Oh, about 15 millimeters longer. Um, diameter looks a little smaller. What a beautiful connector. Look at that. It's just, it's nice. The green is great. It feels solid. And we go to take it apart. They've put a slip ring on here. This slip ring uh, won't let you grab on and undo it. And I'm going to stuff a cable in the end and see how that goes. See if I have the vice grip hand strong enough to undo it. So this has got kind of a, a twist lock. Like if you if it's up near the top here, it slides. If it's down in the bottom here, it locks. So we'll tighten this thing up. And now if we want to take this thing back apart, that's just not going to happen. Not only that, this gripper here is rounded. So you can't even really put a wrench. There's two small flat spots on here, but they're not very big. You could grab it with the pliers, but you damage the connector. But this is not the end of the world. We can get into it because they sell a wrench. Check this out. What a nice tool. This thing has got some weight to it. This wrench has got two flat spots, a rounded, semi-octagonal rounded spot, an open spot to get it over the cable. And we can slide this over the cable and line up those flat spots. And now we can undo it. In addition to this tool here, Grabbing onto this might be tricky. Maybe it's too tight. They sell another tool. And this tool here allows you to put this in and grab that, grab that, and now we can really undo this unit. Cool stuff, except you kind of need those tools. And also, guess how much these things cost? This is $90 list, and this is somewhere around the same. These things are about $70 to $90. Not that you'd ever lose them. These are going to get pricey quick. Kind of a bummer. I mean, the child safety lock is understandable. I mean, they're following the rules, EU rules, or whatever has come down that have pushed this uh, into play. I'm okay with that. I'm good with safety. But having this be $100 to get inside of a unit that may need to be serviced in the field is kind of a bummer. Oh, also this tool has got an other flat spot on it, which lines up with these older Neutrik. Nope, not those. These Neutrik here 
and you can fit it and it grabs the tail end of this guy. Allow you to undo that. And this tool here also works. So the tool also works with the older Neutrik to take them apart for a mere $180. I'm not really one to embrace that kind of, um, hey, good go, we love Neutrik. Sound Tools is one of the biggest Neutrik dealers in North America. We buy so much authentic Neutrik directly from them and put it on our Sound Tools products. We love Neutrik. And also, I do not like the idea of Rat Sound having to buy a pile of these tools because I don't think they're needed. So what I did this morning before work, around eight o'clock, I sat down at the computer on SolidWorks and drew up a drawing of this or a version of this. I measured it out, put that into the CNC machine, and I made a tool out of wood. And let's see how it works. So it's got the same flat spots on the side and the curvature. And then we can go here and it should just line right on up and there we go. We've got our wooden version of the tool and even though we don't need it because we've never really needed them before, I did put the other cutaway that does the older connector here. So this will slide onto there and um, allows us to do it. If you're a channel member, I'll put the um, SolidWorks drawing up on our Telegram channel. If I get enough interest, I'll make a bunch of these up and maybe we'll sell them. See how long they take me to make a bunch of these. Now coming from the world of building PAs and you know scrounging around in the good old days of punk rock and finding ways around everything to get the job done. What if you don't want the safety lock at all? Now, I won't recommend that you do this safety first, right? And we all want to make sure that our connectors are very difficult to get into at the gig, because if we do need to get into them, we're going to want to look for tools. So I am going to show you a way should you want to understand how to bypass the safety lock, here's a way to do it. The way the safety lock works is inside of this cap here are some ramps and drop downs and ramps and drop downs. And they catch on these strain relief bits here and they kind of catch on the edge there. If you have a Forestner bit set, just getting in here and a couple turns of the wrist, putting that on a drill, routing that in for a second and look what we have. Now it clicks a little bit but it's nowhere near as hard to take off. So now we can just go ahead and unscrew this and it becomes very close to the way they used to be because we might enjoy the vintage feel. Cool! Uh, what else do we got? So we've got these cool new connectors. They're really well made. They're um, following some new specs. You may run into installations or situations that require this specification type connector. Amplifiers have gotten very powerful. The voltages present inside these connectors is much higher than when the original was designed. You know, we've gone from 500 watt to maybe a thousand watt amp to 5,000 watt amps. 5,000 watts is not uncommon. How many volts is 5,000 watts? Let's find out. If we're gonna put out 5,000 watts into, let's say, four ohms, the formula is V squared over R. V squared over R equals 5,000. So what we'll do is we'll take 5,000, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by R times four, 5,000 watts into 4 ohms, that's 20,000. Now we want the square root of 20,000. 141 volts. That's wall power. That's the kind of voltage that we have all these safety precautions with normally. So that's why these connectors are having higher safety aspects to them. Not being able to unscrew them by hand may be desirable. A lot of AC connectors you need a screwdriver. These require a tool as well, but the $90 tool may not be your favorite thing to buy. 
All right, so those are the cool new connectors. Oh, and to replace this other part of the tool, this other $90 bit, just getting a spare panel mount connector, maybe mounted into a wood block or just having one around. And that should give you enough grip here to hold on to it. And you could put a pliers on that without damaging the connector itself, which we do not want to do. We don't want to grab this with any metal tools. I'm sure there's other ways. Awesome. Yeah, the first thing I did when I found out they put a child safety lock on these was to figure out how to bypass that child safety lock, or at least not buy the overpriced tool to do so.